Hi, I'm Wendy O. Williams. And I want this much music TV. Hateful Snake, uh, much music before that we heard from Lee Aaron, shot at the Reading Festival in the summer of 1983, and shake it up. Daniel Richel, we want to welcome a couple of uh, friends onto the show. This is Brian over here. How you doing, Brian? And uh, Kid Metal, Sean. How you doing? I thought that, that uh, you know, if you're going to have a TV program and you're talking about, say, uh, VD, you're going to have doctors on the show. If you're going to talk about <laughs> astrophysics, you better have some astrophysicians. So if we're talking about metal, we're going to have some real, real hardcore metal fans Heavy here. metallurgists. Now, two Arr. minutes ago, you thought Daniel's jacket looked pretty heavy, right? I feel like a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> it just hasn't matured, Daniel, that's all. It'll, it'll have its day. Yeah, just leave uh, it for a while and all the pieces will start. If I water it, it'll grow. That's right, yeah. yeah. Oh, great, okay. Take care. Uh, everybody at home might be wondering, uh, there are different levels, it seems, of the fan. There is the peripheral level where you like a very, various number of different styles of music. Then there is the next level down where you start to get the pins and things like that. It looks like to me like you guys are on the sub-sub level and you are the hardcore <laughs> fan. So what are the things? that every real heavy rock fan should have in his record collection. Record collections? Well. Venom. The pre-record. Very important. <laughs> this is a picture disc here. Yes, that's the new album at War with Satan. Right. Here's the new 12-inch Manitou, which is kind of a departure because it's not about Satan anymore. Uh -huh. This is uh, the first album, Black Metal. Then we have Canadian Metal Maniacs Exciter. They have two albums out to their credit. Exciter. They'll be here soon, too. And, and then... Cover. The gods of metal, Metallica. These guys started it all, sort of. The, after Metallica came out, the term thrash metal was created, and things have never been the same since then. The thrash me like super speed? Speed metal. Yeah. The stuff, it was, let's say, I would hate to say it, but it's been injected with punk influences, maybe? Uh -huh. Right, punk heavy metal is here. Uh -oh. Okay, now this, <laughs> this is kind of like, this is when you want to become a real fan. This is what you start to I get. I would say this is essential. Yeah, okay. Now, what goes beyond that? No, we get totally independent here. Here's some local stuff, Canadian yes. stuff. Yeah. This is a band from Guelph called Razor. They are the Ontario kings of speed metal, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, right. Now, they don't, they don't have a video or anything, do they? No, they don't. They are working on their second album right now, which should be out beginning of the new year, I believe. Yeah. Then, of course, what can I say? I Motorhead. recognize that. <laughs> Special leather edition. Uh, this is a German compilation called Death Metal. It features a few bands from Germany. These guys are from Quebec. This is Voivod. Oh, Voivod. They, they do um, um, covers of Venom. Of Venom. Venom. That's right. That's I've right. been told that they do Venom covers, Venom. or do Venom songs better than Venom do. So. <laughs> <laughs> and another... Uh, oh, wait, no, these guys are Swedish. Hellhammer. 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 Apocalyptic Ray. This is a compilation put out by Music for Nations. It's Hell Comes to Your House. It's got bands like Exciter and Loudness. It's great like album cover. This is kind of like a, a metal rap song by the Lone Ranger. It was done by Johnny Z out of New York. Metal it, rap? It, it's about all these bands that I've been showing you. Uh, another band from L.A., Slayer. And another band from West Germany, Running Wild. This is right up there. <laughs> Warfare. Now this is... It just goes on forever. Pure filth, and that's sort of what it is. Oz from and Germany. Oz. Sweden, sorry. And another band called Evil, they're from Germany as well. Now, most of these that. bands we never get to really see uh, on a large scale because they, they don't have videos. You know, they're the people that are out there and they're managing to make albums and things. And it seems to me that only the people that have some money can make a video. So where does, say, a Judas Priest, who are regarded by some people to be the gods of metal, fit in with all of this? What do you Judas think? Judas huh? Priest? They uh, come out with consistent material on that, and they're touring. They, they play North America the size of venues that some of these bands are playing in Europe. See, they're very accessible to North America. They can fill the gardens and that. Whereas a Metallica or a Venom come over here, they have to play the concert hall or Larry's even, bars. Mm -hmm. So they, they have a lot of money. They can do what they want to do and they still keep a consistent raw sound, which yeah. I like. Okay, well, let's see a little bit of Judas Priest. Here's Love Bites on Much Music. Love Bites, and that is Judas Priest on Much Music. J.D. Roberts together with Daniel Richler, Brian, and Sean. Now, you know, when you think about magazines, if you want to find out what's happening in heavy rock, you usually turn to, to Kerrang! magazine. But from it, England. Yeah, from England. Uh, you know, Lemmy's on the cover. But they seem to cover everything from, say, we've got Lemmy here, and then we've got Fish from Marillion here. I've even seen Duran Duran in issues of, of this. So this is kind of a... Uh, a top-level magazine, I would trader imagine. Magazine. Not a trader magazine. A top-level <laughs> magazine. If you want to get a little bit deeper into it, where do you go? Well... Metal Forces. I would say Metal Forces is probably one of the best magazines to deal with heavy metal, not Duran Duran, stuff like that. 
they deal with Venom. Like, how many magazines do you know that put Venom on the cover of their magazines or Metallica? They deal with, like, the real metal. They don't put in the, the other stuff that people don't want to see mm -hmm. when they're buying metal albums. They, and the thing about it, they, uh, <laughs> they don't lie. They don't bullshit you. They just... They give you what you want to hear. They don't. It's absolutely Honest up to date, is it? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Other very bands amazing. on the albums. Now, but what about these ones? All fair magazine. All fair is from France. Uh, they're all written in French. They deal again with all the heavy metal. There's no wimpy stuff involved here. So uh, was out, uh, in Quebec, you know. Yeah, that's, that's a good magazine, that, yeah. or for people who are bilingual, that's a good magazine <laughs> as well. Now, talk about European heavy rock and the fact that. Uh, it seems like there is a, a new genesis of rock and roll coming out of places like Belgium, like uh, Germany, even France to, to some degree. How, how does what's happening in Europe fit in with, I guess, where it all originally started was uh, in, in the United States? Or the States. Well, it, certain countries in Europe have massive metal followings. Like, you go to places like Sweden, and all, on the streets, all you see is metalheads. Like, there's no People Duran Durannies. They're okay. all metalheads everywhere you go. <laughs> um, Girls, too? I, Oh yeah, everywhere. That's yeah, that's a good point actually you make because there seems to be a severe lack of girls in heavy metal as far as the fans go. Certainly, so, a lot of the European heavy rock bands are starting to cater towards a female audience. Yeah. I know that Scorpions, and that's all they talk about is girls. That's all they've got in their videos is girls. There's a, a, a band out of Germany called Warlock who are getting quite quite popular over there, and they have a female singer. So this is obviously not a male-dominated sport anymore. <laughs> not anymore. It was, but hopefully it'll, that will change. <laughs> okay, we got a couple of European, European bands coming up. Uh, from Switzerland, Crocus. This is their latest called Midnight Maniac. But first of all, we have Lenny Wolf, who was originally from Hamburg, Germany, went over to the U.S. and got a bunch of guys together and formed a band called Stone Fury. And here's Breaking Down the Walls. Uh, much music. Welcome back to the Power Hour. J.D. Roberts and Daniel Richel together with Brian and Sean. Brian and Sean. <laughs> and, uh, Sean is one of the most conspicuous people in Toronto, for those of you from outside of town. And we would go out with cameras occasionally to shoot metal shows, and he's always there in the middle of it all. And uh, I just had to ask you about some of the things on your jacket. It's truly amazing. Like I said, I feel like I'm naked, you know? Yeah, your, just, <laughs> your jacket was heavy until they, they showed up. It's only just been born, but you've got an old man jacket who's been around the metal, the metal field for years. But, uh, like, what's, there's a few things on it. That, this spider, for instance, this is really... It's just a, it used to be a belt buckle, pewter spider I put on. Oh, I see. Just put a speed through. And there's, there's skulls and uh, pentagrams yeah. and bullets and a variety of things. All kinds of good badges and talented badges. This one obviously from Germany. Mm-hmm. Just the Yeah. It's been all been accumulated over almost four years. I've never really seen it. I've never seen anything like it. It's a very personal thing. A lot, a lot of the time, the, the politically minded punks say that they wear leather jackets with stuff on it because they don't want to be acceptable to society. It's their statement against it. Why, why do you wear yours? Well, um, I don't really want to cut a, a groove in anyone or anything like that. I just, I like to look like this, right? And a lot of people find it hard to accept me in public. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, they look at me and they just sneer. I think a lot of them, they are, they're jealous of, that, of the of the image of the way that I can express myself the way I want to. Right? I, can, yeah. I can imagine you're getting on a subway. And yeah, like, do you ever have problems? I was going to say, taking all, public transit? You get on a streetcar and you hear all the people talking as you get on the streetcar. And as soon as they see you, the entire streetcar becomes very, very quiet. <laughs> and then they start to whisper, sort of. Look at that. Like he doesn't notice. You know? What is that? Yeah. Mark Bell. Well, listen, why don't, we, why don't we just try to find out what kind of bulk of jacket there is here? We've got, a, right. we've got a scale down here. <laughs> Let's weigh you with the jacket on, Sean. Let's okay, what are we checking in? About 168, 169. Yeah, okay. Is that pounds or kilograms? That's pounds. 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 169 pounds. This takes you five minutes to put on every morning like and ten minutes to take off. 20th century armor, isn't it? It is. It really is. This is the, this is this, that's why you can get up at the front of the stage and survive a gig, right? Yeah. Because you're <laughs> holy mackerel. Okay. Okay. Back on the scales, we had 179, and now he's checking in at 153. So that's a 40, 30, 20, just a 25, 20, 26 pounds. pounds. 26 pounds of jacket there, and I noticed it adorning the back of the jacket here. If we can pick that up on two, is Motorhead. So uh, I thought since you had Motorhead in the back of your jacket, it might be appropriate to uh, play Motorhead. Uh, we can only play Motorhead then, but we can play Fast Eddie Clark now. We have for you Motorhead and Fastway on Much Music. All right.
I want to say thanks, uh, Brian right, and no Sean, problem. for dropping by. And uh, thank you for dropping by. a very medley Christmas for, for everybody. And don't wind up like Vince Neil and Razzle. Don't drink and drive. Yeah, especially See, yeah. Motor this time of year. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay, we're going to go out with a little bit of Merciful Fate Captured Live. See you next week at the Power Hour. Good night, Pinky. Thank you. <laughs> is the nation's music station. Much music, 24 hours a day in stereo.